Welcome to Malta International Airport. This video is going to give you as much information about departures. I'm going to take you right from my taxi seat all the way through departures, right to my plane seat. I'm going to show you how to check in, check your baggage, go through security, duty free, through the gates, right up into the plane. Here we go. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Malta International Airport. Now sometimes people think that the airport is in Valletta. Valletta is the capital city of Malta, 531,000 population, but it is, this airport is roughly five to seven kilometers outside of Valletta in a town called Luca, L-U-Q-A. You might here pronounced Luca or Luha. We've just come in I, on a bolt and uh, we're walking into the airport here. There is the screen. We are checking to see that we can check in on aisles 20, 21, 22, 23. So we're gonna head over and we're gonna go through this departure process. We are on our way to Gatwick in London, England. We've had a beautiful week here in Malta. Malta is blowing up as a place to come, like great bang for your buck, beautiful culture, food, the weather's great. So happy we got here. This has been our, on our radar for a couple years. So we're going to go through the process here. We're going to check our bags in. Quick, easy, one big room. Pop my suitcase up there. Get hers up there. Make sure we're under the limit, which is always dicey sometimes. It's not like you have to walk in the terminal and walk for 25 minutes to get to your to your check-in and there it is. Like it took us two minutes to walk over here. We're gonna walk out this little strip here and there's Malta Air right in front of you if you've got a problem with your flight. I'm just gonna show you those escalators going up to the left, that's security. And you can see behind this glass kind of right in front of me is the security. I'm just gonna come on over here, give you a good view of it and it's basically up an escalator. So there is a little bit of security right there. You're gonna go through those things, and you're gonna go up the escalator, you're gonna go through another set of security up there, duty-free, the gates, I'll walk you through all that. There's also a food court up ahead if you wanted to grab something before you wanna get on the plane. So I'm gonna back around here, show you there's the security, I'm gonna turn off the camera, and I'm gonna head through security. Now I'm through security, looking down at it, looking at the room, that is the terminal, terminal one. There's only one terminal, it's one big room there for departures. It is super easy. Malta Airport, I'm impressed with it. Departure gates, we're gonna turn around a corner here, and I'm just gonna kinda of give you an overview of the departures, one room, so easy, so efficient so quick but I'm going to have to turn off the camera because I'm going to go through a different set of security here for our carry-on baggage so you can kind of see through there there's some and I've just come through the security quick not a lot of people not a lot of lines and now we're gonna start walking through the duty-free which is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be clean a lot of booze it's still early, probably before 11, if you want to grab some smokes. But I'm just going to give you some information here about the Malta International Airport. And like, like I said, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments section. I've done a number of videos uh, on the Malta Airport, whether it be arrivals, how to get from the airport to Valletta City Center, the food options in here. They've got a new uh, food court down a level. It's called level minus one. 
They've got some Burger King, KFC, Saigon cuisine, kitchen, uh, some tacos, uh, Dr. Juice uh, for some wraps and stuff, for some smoothies. I'm just gonna keep walking around here. If you wanna stop the, at this and look at some of the booze and see how much it is, feel free. So this Malta International Airport, sometimes referred to as Valletta Airport, but it's not because it's five to seven kilometers outside of Valletta, is the only airport in Malta. It serves all of the Maltese islands. And like I said, it's five kilometers southwest of Valletta, the capital city, population around 531,000, I believe. So currently there are no nonstop flights from the US to Malta or Canada to Malta. So if you're coming from the US or Canada and you're trying to get to Malta, what I have found here is that heading in and out of London is a good option. We actually came in from Budapest. So we were in Eastern Europe, but we got a cheap flight from Budapest into, into Malta. So there are some cheapies. We came in with Wizz Air. Now, if you watch my arrivals video, you'll see that we came in with Wizz Air. We are now going to fly out with EasyJet into Gatwick in London. So there are so many options once you get into Europe, cheap options with these budget airlines or bigger airlines to get into Malta. Malta Air is, uh, is a biggie. So Malta Airport has only two runways and the terminal building has only one terminal. And we just took you through the departures there. It's one big building. It's not very large. It takes five minutes to walk across it. Check-in counters are all grouped. You saw them. I showed you we were in uh, aisle 20. We just went in, checked in, it was easy. I kind of told you that Malta is blowing up as a destination, especially in Europe. A lot more North Americans are coming over. It seems like there's been a buzz about Portugal and Malta um, from some North Americans coming over. Now, I guess the main draw is bang for your buck. And the other big thing with a lot of Canadians would be in the winter, you get some good weather. We've been all over Malta the last, whatever, I think we've been here eight or nine days, and the water is beautiful. You've got the iconic Blue Grotto, Blue Lagoon, heading up to Gozo if you want. You're right, it's hard for you not to be near the water at all times. So there's the duty free. If you're looking for some stuff, there's a Hard Rock Cafe if you're looking for some food. I also did a video on the food options down in the food court and in departures. You're going to see another restaurant called Relish over here and I'm going to just take you through it. But you're going to come through security, come through duty free and you're going to be like this is wall to wall people here. I did not expect it to be this busy. There's not a lot of seats available. We're looking at our Gatwick. EasyJet departure. Seems like it's on time, but I'm just gonna go give you a little walk down here. There's some information if you need to ask somebody some questions. But it is, this is busy. You know, uh, it's only got two runways, one terminal. There's not a lot of seating. So if you get a good seat, get in there. But this Malta airport has a little bit of a weird kind of something that's different. So we went in, you saw us check our bags. We got our boarding passes. Then we went through a little security thing in that glass. We went up the escalator. We went through another level of security for our handbags and all that sort of stuff. And then we're going to go through another level of security up here. And I'm going to show you that uh, they're going to funnel you into different gates and you're gonna go through another level of security. So security seems a little bit heightened here. And I guess my point is, if you're coming to the Malta International Airport, make sure you maybe get here a little bit earlier because you do have that check-in, then you've got that security, you go up the escalator, you go through another level of security, and then once they've kind of housed you in this area for a while, 
There's an ATM if you need some, some money. They house you in here, there's a little bit of shopping, there's a couple of restaurants, Hard Rock Cafe, here's this relish. They then take you through another level of security. So it might seem a little bit longer of a process. Then they're gonna put you in the gate and it doesn't seem like there's enough seats in those gates either. Then what they do is you don't go from down in kind of a alleyway onto the plane. They put you on a bus. They're gonna take you out on the tarmac and they're gonna drive you around for 10, 15 minutes and then you're going to get out of the bus and you're gonna walk up into the plane. So the process seems like it's a little bit longer. So I'll just give you the little heads up. I think they say get there three hours before. You should have no problem if you're there three hours before. But the two hours, if I don't know if you have to go through security or not, but I think we're all in the Schengen, so you probably won't be going through any major security here. We're gonna walk back here, we're gonna see the uh, screen, we're gonna find out what gate we're in and we're gonna walk to the gate, we're gonna go through this other security before we get to the gate, you'll see the process. But I'm gonna give you some other information um, about who's coming to Malta right now. And it's mostly Europeans. But I know in North America, there has been a real big push for Malta and Portugal. And I know there's a bunch of people coming over this way. And that's why we're over here because we've been doing a bunch of reading and seeing a lot of videos and people talking about this is a place to be. So we wanted to come over here, check it out for a week, just to see if we wanted to come back for a winter, for a month or so to get away from the Canadian snow or if you're Northern uh, American from uh, like Northern states and you wanna get away, people are going to Florida, Arizona, Mexico, there's so many options. So we just found out that we are going to gate 15 and we're gonna start walking. The main people, countries that are coming to Malta are Italy, which is super close. Some people think Malta is part of Italy, but it isn't. We've got 1.3 million Italians coming, a lot of English, a million people. You've got the French coming over, Germans, Polish, Spanish, Turks, Belgians, Swiss, and Austrians. Those are the big numbers from the different countries that are coming here. The airlines, the major airlines is Ryanair that's coming through here. So here we are to these gates, departure gates 11 through 18 and now they funnel you through this and you go through another level of security. This seems more than most European airports. So just keep that in mind regarding time to get here that you're gonna have to go through this. Now we're on the other side of it and we are looking for, and there's Costa Coffee, I don't know if it's Costa or Costa, there is gate 11, we're going to gate 15 but it, you can't really get a seat here. It's if anything, they should have probably had more seats for the people getting on these flights. Ryanair's coming through here at 1.7 million a year. Air Malta, EasyJet, and that's what we're doing. Lufthansa, Wizz Air, that's who we came in with. Um, Turkish Airlines, Air Italia, Emirates, British Airways, those are the big ones. So once you come through that other level of security, there's, there's more duty free, a couple more food options. You got washrooms there. And you're gonna see we're gonna come to gate 15 here. And not a lot of seats. There's our gate, EasyJet to Gatwick. And I'm gonna say, if you have any questions, pop them in the comment section. We're gonna go through another level of security onto the bus, onto the tarmac, up into the plane. So a lot of steps, a little bit more than normal, I would have expected. But anyways, that's why I have these videos. So I can go through the process so you can see it. Wall-to-wall -wall people in here too. But beautiful weather, beautiful place. There's our plane. We're gonna go up the staircase here and I'm gonna say, have any questions, pop them in the comment section. Malta Airport, huge thumbs up, love it. Uh, a number of steps there, but still flowed, went well. I'm gonna say ciao for now. See you later. Thanks for coming by.